This one right here is, in my opinion, the most important one. So do you need it closer or farther away? Uh, this is good right here. Okay. I get it. because that's where the strap goes. Okay, so right. it makes sense that you would want to roll through the strap and through your thumb at the same time because it's that motion. Right. But I, I, I practice some individual sets like you would bodybuilding. All right, right. let's go ahead and do a couple of sets. So. And that's that swing out move. Oh yeah. So that's gonna be, I'm gonna try that way. But those little quick motions yes. might be a little scary to me. So yeah, just just go straight have it right here. Yep, through the thumb, wrap around the wrist. Yes, just like that. Plank the elbow. And all you're doing is rolling. Yeah. It's a small little movement. Yeah, that's perfect. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I like it straight a little bit further. Yeah. I'm probably gonna like it right there. Okay. Yeah, that, that might actually be perfect. Oh yeah, that looks good. That's yeah, like a good way too, honestly. To start off with, just really yeah, quickly, right? Yeah. Perfect. All right, so try that height and see what it feels like to you. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, you can scoot it back a little bit if you need to, so you use more of the pad, but right. play it wrong so far, so it's not that bad. Through the thumb, around the arm. Two things. All right, how about a little bit? So what would be a max lift for you? I think that's a stack. That's it. I think I can do that a stack. I think it is. It has a full number. It won't. No, I can't. <laughs> Damn. No, I can't. Damn. Ooh. Gold, right? Gold. Yeah, gold. All right, cool. So, all right, so what, what's next? Uh, all right, I'll do a riser technique. Same handle? Same yes. Strap. Yes, same strap. Height? Yeah. Uh, no, lower. I thought it might be lower. Yeah. Not too low, though. Yeah. I see a lot of people going down here. Yeah, and I think that you're not going to see that pressure. Yeah, you never will. Unless you're, you want yeah. to fight from there. Yeah. That make sense. So I go over the hand, and that, that does a lot of pressure. Yeah. And then oh, I come, the last one. Yeah. Yes. And then I come through the hand. Straight over the yeah, Straight over the hand. And then this one to the other shoulder. Yeah, Always good. Good rise right there. Yeah. Yeah, it feels yeah. like a really weird. I, I just don't think you're used to hitting that. Like, your arm has never been in that position ever. Yeah, that, I like that. So I'm gonna start doing that. Yeah, for sure. But I'm gonna start like you know. Yeah, like that. That's a good one. Right there. That's weird. Like the other way. You and you were just doing too. Honestly, I got this kind of from Dave Chapin. Dave? Not yeah. from training, but from his style. Because yeah. I noticed when Dave pulls, it's all, it looks like that. Yeah. You know? And so I was like, okay, well, I need to get this stronger. 
right? Because that's the initial attack. Yeah. This, about, is, this is the same thing I was doing with cupping and jumping yeah, and rolling through it. This is the start. And so if I roll a little bit, So the boardroom's next. Yeah. We got several. Yeah. So is that a straight board? Yes. This one you can do a lot of stuff. So uh, it's mainly fingertips, of course. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I'll start at an angle. Want to raise it up higher? Are you good? Yeah. See, Todd, that's a good one. Something similar to this. And so it's all, this one's just all fingertips. I'm just trying to make sure my fingers, because if my fingers can contain it with it in my. So why are your fingers bunched? So Paul showed me this and I noticed uh, people do it without noticing. Whenever someone goes to pronate, you instinctually dig your fingertips into their hand like that. The guy who's pronating? The guy who's defending. defending. So if I'm trying to like, uh, you know, contain someone, my fingers will end up bunching like that and digging in. So I thought, you know, I might as well train that, you know? Because it's a, uh, it's it's not a, uh, it's cupping clamping pressure is what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's always clamping. And so the- There's no squeeze at all, it's all clamping. No, it's all clamping. people like, how much can you, how, many, how heavy a gripper can you do? I'm like, I don't do heavy gripper. Yeah, I've never even done it. Because you always have to bend your wrist back to close Exactly, it. and so, uh, that right there, that that's your starting pressure usually. Plus like your hand reaches pretty far across it too. Yeah. Like your finger goes pretty right, far. Right. I'm not sure my hand will reach that far. And so I just bunch it up right there or even right there. You know, it just depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah. And then I'll just. See, I believe I'm gonna go ahead and pick the front I'm gonna stretch my fingers all the way out. Okay. Because I wanna have that starting position stretched yeah. out so I have more surface to contain. Right. And then work in just like if it does get open up and get something to go. Right, right. Oh yeah, that's it. And yeah, see the main thing with that exercise is you want your your fingertips to be pushing into the board. Right. And, and you don't want your, your hand to go past your shoulder. That's like the key. Well, you can do a lot of weight here. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Small movements. Give me a little bit more weight, like okay. maybe. Right. 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 Yeah, I'm just going to do some light stuff too. Yeah, solid. Yeah, so I think we're gonna start doing it. Um, 